Good morning, everyone. I am super excited to be doing my first River Kids online lesson with you. I hope that you're excited about this too. I just want to let you know that there are a few features that you can use if you would like to communicate with me. There is an option for you to um, answer a question by giving a thumbs up or you can choose a smiley face or like if the answer is no maybe you want to choose like a sad face or an angry face um, also if you would like me to know that you're here although i can't um find the thing right now to be able to see your comments oh here it is um so if you are watching right now and you would like me to say hi to you you can type your name into the comments and then I'll know you're here. And then if you have other things you'd like to say, you can always, it's nice because it's not like school where you have to stop and raise your hand and wait for someone to call on you. If you'd like to, oh look, it's Kirby. Um, I don't think he has any kids with him, but hi Kirby. <laughs> um, oh, and Caden's here too, that's great news. Hi Caden. So if you would like to answer a question, you can type in an answer or have someone type in the answer for you. So I want to jump into our lesson today. This week is a very special week. This Sunday has a special name called Palm Sunday. And what that is, is there was one week in Jesus' life that was action-packed. And this is the beginning of that action-packed week in Jesus' life. So Palm Sunday kind of turned into like a parade for him where he was coming into town and the people were so excited to see him. He was at like rock star status. So he was so excited to all the people were so excited to see him they were grabbing branches off the trees and they were waving them in the air they were taking their coats and jackets oh look it must be sydney hi sydney they were taking their coats and jackets and laying them on the ground for jesus to walk over so there's a story in the bible that tells us some details about that and it can be found in the book of Matthew chapter 21 verses 1 through 11. So, <coughs> sorry I was going to get a cough drop before I started and I forgot. So if you had a chance to go to the website and click on the River Kids icon, you found a paper that looks a lot like this. And on this paper, there's a story about that day. If you got the younger kids version, then there's um, a little simplified version. And then if you got the older kids version, there's a little more detail in there. So here is the story about Jesus on Palm Sunday. Jesus and his disciples, who were his helpers, were on their way to Jerusalem. Jesus sent two of his disciples to the next town. He told them that they would find a young donkey and its mother. He said, untie them and bring them to me. The disciples brought the donkeys to Jesus just as he said. The disciples placed their coats on the young donkey's back. Jesus sat on the donkey and rode into Jerusalem. Along the way, many people saw Jesus. When they saw him coming, some people spread their coats on the road. Others cut branches from trees and spread them across the road. The people knew Jesus was special. They were kind of creating like a red carpet for him. As they walked with Jesus, the people shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna. Some people asked, is this? The crowds replied, this is Jesus from Nazareth. 
many people were happy to see Jesus. So on this day where Jesus was entering into Jerusalem, he was like a rock star. Like everyone was so excited to see him. They all wanted to get near him. They wanted to make sure they didn't miss it. And people were thinking like this is going to be the part where Jesus like takes over the world and he's going to become the king and he's going to be in charge of everything and it's going to be amazing. That's what people were thinking was going to happen. Now we know that that's not what God's plan was and that's not how the story ended. What ends up happening is that because a lot of people, especially the people in charge, thought, oh no, here's the part where Jesus is going to take over the world, um, they got really nervous. And so Jesus ended up getting arrested. And we know that on Good Friday, Jesus was crucified. Now, these people that were part of this exciting parade and thought that Jesus was a rock star who was going to change the world, they were like, wait a second, what is going on? But like how can Jesus die but we know that that was part of God's big plan so that our sins could be forgiven and what those people didn't know but we know because we can read about it in the Bible is that next week we'll hear some really good news about what happened to Jesus so Along with this story this week, there are a couple of papers. So if you didn't get the papers yet, you can go to the River Kids section on Church Online of the River, the River Church website, and you can click the link. There's the younger kids and the older kids, and the younger kids paper looks a lot like this. And so here is a little activity that you can do. And this is figuring out like which things would have been part of a Bible story and which things do not belong. So let's look for a second. Let's see, here is Jesus riding on a donkey. That was definitely in our story. So this would be one that you would circle. This one shows people waving branches and laying their coats down on the road. Do you think that one is part of our story? Yes, so you would circle that one too. And then here is a donkey. Was a donkey part of the story today? Yes, it was, so you would circle that one. Now let's look at this. Here's an airplane. Did they have airplanes during Bible times? In No. So that one you would not circle. How about a little kid with a broom? Was that a thing? No, you're not going to circle that one. And here is a guy who looks like he's getting ready to do some tap dancing. Was that part of our story today? No, so we're not going to circle that one. Then down here... There are some animals that you can match up with their moms because remember in the story, it talked about um, that they would find a young donkey and its mother. So you can match up those animals with their mothers. And then if you have the older kids' papers, you have a different activity to do. So on here, there are a bunch of papers that talk about different ways that people praised Jesus. <coughs> so the crowd was sometimes, um, a lot of these people were praising Jesus by shouting and cheering and waving branches and they were very excited. But that isn't the only way that you can praise God. So on here, and everyone loves a quiz, so here is a little quiz for you. You can circle the things that you say, hmm, this sounds like something that I would like to do. So some of the choices are, I love music, art, and drama. 
I feel great after finishing a job, or I love to read and write. And so you would circle the ones that apply to you. And then down at the bottom, if you circled mostly the notebooks, then that tells you that maybe you like to praise quietly. Um, and then like if you circled mostly the bikes, maybe you like to praise God by doing jobs. Then on the second page for the older kids, there's a diagram that you can fill out and there is a puzzle for you to complete. So those are some things that you can do. Now, here's what I would love to see. One other thing that everyone has, younger kids and older kids, there's a coloring page. So here's what I'd love to see. If you color the coloring page, or you finish the puzzles, or you do the circling and matching on the other page, if you would like me to be able to see it, or you'd like other people to be able to see your beautiful coloring, you can ask your parents to take a picture of it and upload it into the comments here. And then we'll all be able to see the amazing work that you did. Now next week, we're going to have a River Kids online lesson again. And if you go to River Kids, you're gonna be getting something in the mail this week that you'll be able to use during your online lesson next week. So keep an eye out for that. And I will look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for joining me for River Kids and I will see you again next week.